Hey everybody! Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Amy and today is going to be my, my very first YouTube video. So thank you for coming by and spending some of your time to watch this. Today I wanted to share with you my um, a project um, that I created for a swap group on uh, Facebook. It's called Loaded Envelopes Galore and More. And the swap was to be a uh, loaded suitcase with um, a just a few different things, some treat bags and embellishments. Um, I followed a tutorial by Jen, which is um, one of the facilitators over on that Facebook group. And if I can figure out how, I will add a link to her YouTube channel with the tutorial. It was a fantastic tutorial. Anyway, so this is my suitcase. I made some pretty fabric roses here. I followed a tutorial for these as well. Um, her name is Ida who is created to create here on YouTube. And um, if I can if I can figure it out, I'll also link that one. We were to create a shaker tag. This is the one I created. I think it came out super cute. It is a My Favorite Things tag. It's actually a flower die. Um, and I just converted it over to become a luggage tag. Um, inside, it's fully lined. And you can see here, it's got this cute little pocket area back here to be able to put things in. Um, this was a really fun um, swap um, and a really fun project to work on. You can see here I have cute little bows here on each side of the handle. And this was made with 110 pound cardstock. Um, it's actually watercolor cardstock um, by Canson. So that is my my suitcase and a couple of the things that I created for her I wanted to make her a handmade card this is one of the handmade cards that I made oh and by the way everything here is made with the Willow Lane collection by Maggie Holmes um, this is my card that I made I loved how it turned out it's so whimsical and fun it says you're some kind of wonderful it's got this cute little unicorn up in you know in the top and it's just such a fun card so that's the card I created um, we were supposed to create two bag toppers. These are the two bag toppers that, that I created for her. This first one here, um, it is actually made just with a shaped die that I have folded in half. I took, and you can't really see here, but it's just a bunch of circles that I stitched across, um, glued it on top, made a little rosette. This is a Spellbinders uh, butterfly, and it's stacked. Put a little jemmy in the center here, and there it is. The second one I created the base exactly the same and on this one I just took the um, one of the um, images from the paper and I just fussy cut this out I love this bunny she's so cute I put it on top of the rosette here and that's my second one we were also supposed to create some treat bags um, these are the two treat bags that I made for her. Um, this one over here on the back, I used one of the papers. I die cut out a heart. It was, this is a lawn fawn die. And it creates a cute stitched border on both sides. I just put a piece of acetate in the back and then decorated it. And then this treat bag, I actually used my die cut heart from the other bag. I added on some Hobby Lobby trim. Used one of the cute little chipboards from the collection, popped it up on a rosette, and that is my treat bags. Um, we were also supposed to create a sequins mix. This is my sequins mix right here. Um, it matches the collection, and then I just used this adorable little um, treat container here from, this is from Divinity Divi Divinity Designs, um, which was our daily bread designs. Um, I put a cute little pom-pom up on the top, and then I've got the rosette here with this adorable little bunny. And then a couple of my handmade embellishments. Um, I have this one here that I packaged up. Um, it's cute little, lots of people are making these right now. It's a cute little banner. Um, it's got a little rosette on the front, little pom-poms up on the top, a couple of little banner tabs over here, and then a cute little rosette with this kitty. Another one of the ones I just fussy cut from the collection, popped it up on top of a rosette, and put a couple of cute little pom-poms. And last but not least, 
um, I wanted to share with you this adorable little embellishment box. I have other goodies that I'm sending her, um, but I had to show you this embellishment box. It's not full yet. I just um, decorated it up. I took one of the chipboard pieces. I popped it up on a rosette, used some of the trim from the collection, added some pom-poms and lots of cute little fun trims up here. I love embellishment boxes, so I, they're one of the things that I get in a swap that I, I, I love them. I use them. Um, so I wanted to share one with her as well. Anyway, I wanted to thank everyone who stopped by today. I hope that you've seen some things that inspire you to create something wonderful as well. Um, I'm always so inspired by the ladies and gentlemen that I see here on YouTube and Instagram. Um, so I hope that you've been inspired as well. Thank you for stopping by and have a great day. Bye.